And the 31X, we understand, has been penalized for driving consistently under the yellow line. So? So it looks like perhaps it will be a reclaiming of the lead for Rob Granger. We'll have to check with our scorers. 4X, 4X and 08 again. All right, we're back to those two. So Davis penalized. Now he's running above our the yellow line. Our officials are but keeping an eye on that 08 about his going under the yellow line. He might be meeting a similar fate as Davis has. Notice the nice way the Granger is going. He stays well above the line and where he should be. Oh, the 4X is sliding into our leader, and our leader gets crunched in turns one and two. Will he be able to continue? Yes, he will. But he gives up the lead. The 08 is the leader. Maniac Mike Gigantino has recaptured the lead. Perseverance paying off. Gigantino crossing the line right now. And it looks 29. like it is curtains for Granger as he is slowly making his way into the infield. Well, Flat, he right front tire. Put up a good way. race. Yes, he did. Going for two wins in a row, and it just did not materialize for Rob Granger. So zero 08 is on top. Now another car we'll keep an eye on is the 46 of Darren McGann of Portland, Connecticut. He's been running strong. Here he comes off turn four. He's really been picking up the pace here. Rally, it would seem that Maniac Mike has gotten the message. He is staying up on the racetrack as he goes down the back stretch. Here comes your leader off turn four. He went way up high that time. Here he comes to the line. Ten, uh, rather 20 laps to go for Mike Gigantino. 20 laps to go. A lot of cars slipping and sliding. That track is really slick now. And aren't we going to have fun with our demo derby after this? The number 31X has received for his infraction did receive a one lap penalty. Now there is a possibility that he could catch up with that 08 on lap himself and then come right back as a contender for the win. It is really getting slick out there. The boy's having a tough time holding these cars under control. All this rubber and oil and water and antifreeze and everything else mixed up on that track. All right, we'll keep an eye on your leader now. As he moves down the back stretch, the 08. When he hits the line, we'll have just 17 laps to go. Connecticut, according to our official scorers, is running in the second position. And one lap down, a 31X of Bill Davis is running in the third spot. So 69 Connecticut is Ken Woodward Jr. We've been mentioning how well he had been running, and he is indeed holding down the second spot with Bill Davis one lap down, running in third in the 31X. Tough making a challenge now with the slick conditions, but certainly Woodward is giving it his all. There he goes into turn three in the 69 Connecticut. He's really been pouring it on. Gigantino has about a three-quarter of a lap lead, but... As he ice skates down the front stretch. And here comes your leader being slow. Oh, our second place driver just spinning out. Uh-oh. Well, he was gaining ground. <laughs> the 08 up into the wall, but he comes safely down and holds on to the lead. The 31X, meanwhile, has unlapped himself and is now on the lead lap. He was a former leader, Bill Davis in the 31X. Gingerly, they tiptoe off turn four, and Matt has got to be tough out there now. The last race that was held under this slick kind of conditions, I think, was the Iditarod. Because <laughs> it is really treacherous out there. But Maniac Mike seems to be immune to all the greasy conditions on the track. 
Looks like one giant oil flick, and here comes the Maniac Mike. And Roger Mastic darts in front of him, but there's no problems there for our 08 and our leader. Now on the back stretch with a little less than 13 laps to go now. Maniac Mike leading the way. Trying to put the 31 exit Bill Davis back down a lap. But unable to get much traction coming out of four. Meanwhile, the 69 Connecticut trying to pick up some ground on our leader as our leader gets involved with another car between turns one and two. The 57 with his hood flying. May see a black flag before long. <laughs> and a flat tire and numerous problems for the 57. Bill Davis driven high up into the Armco barrier with the 31X. <laughs> These boys may wish they had studded tire. Turn number two. It looks like we got a trunk and we got a tire over there. <laughs> Don't you feel sorry for the cleanup crew tomorrow morning? Wow. Oh, our leader just gets by one of the lapped cars. That car number 57 almost got a piece of Mike Giantino as he weaves his way into the back stretch. Wow, look at this now. We're down to about oh, 15 cars still running out of that mass we had at the beginning. And it's still 0-8, holding down the lead, the 69 Connecticut second, and the 31X third, and they are all on the lead lap. Everybody else at least one lap down. Roger Bezik, who led the early portion of the race, done on the lead lap. Trying to get one back against Mike Giantino. And he is all over the track. Really something. Banana Peel Racing Conditions here in the closing laps of our full-size Enduro. Eight ball gets out of shape on the front stretch. And our second place man, dirt tracking it through turns one and two, just holds right onto it the best he can. Bill Davis is closing in on the 69 Connecticut. There may be a challenge for second. And you never know what could develop. Gigantino is still Davis your leader. Way under the line, though. Well, he'll get a little grace this time, but he better not keep doing it. Meanwhile, your leader comes off the fourth turn. And uh oh, he knows. The, uh -oh. Second, the 69 car gets nailed by the 29. Our leader went by, and he has now six laps remaining. If he can slip and slide his way for the rest of the way. Maniac Mike is able to cut his way through the grease on the track. Better than Formula 409, Raleigh. Yeah, you got it. Here he comes. Okay, Bill Davis is second with the 31X. The 69 Connecticut is back to the third spot. Our leader... Whoops, safely by a stall car and slipping and sliding the back stretch he goes. When he comes back to the line, he'll have just four laps remaining. Can he do it? No one able to generate much speed. Davis is a, probably the fastest car going right now. He gets by, and Davis comes off the fourth turn, and he comes flying down the front stretch. Look at this. Flying comparatively, anyway. But Maniac Mike was still a safe half-lap lead. The only thing that Maniac Mike has to look out for is flat tires or somebody spinning in front of him that could conceivably take him out, and this event will be his. Three laps to go, and then it'll be demo derby time. He is able to breaststroke his way down the backstretch. <laughs> You hit it right, Fat. That's about it. Off the fourth turn he comes. He heads for the line. He gets the signal. Two laps to go.
around the stalled car, down the back stretch, the 25 spinning again, third time in one lap. Here comes Maniac Mike, you'll see the white flag, one lap. Here's your second place car, the 31X with the orange road cone on the roof. And still in third, he is just coming through turns three and four now, the 69 Connecticut running in the third position. And here he comes, heading for the checkered flag. It's the OA of Maniac Mike Gigantino of East Haven, Connecticut, winner of our full-size Enduro. There you have it. And we'll check with our scores as to the top three. The top three, part of the payoff. But Mike Gigantino, the big winner, he's having troubles back there. He's going to back it down now. He says, I'm having trouble going forward, so let's go backwards. Here he comes. Yeah. In reverse to Victory Lane. Look out for our photographers. And doing a famous enduro maneuver. Hey. We call that a snap spin. That's what we <laughs> came up with what we call that in enduro competition. That was a beautifully executed snap spin. Well, that's Amos recorded in second place. And the 69 Connecticut of Mike Wo Ken Woodward Jr. of New Haven taking down the number three spot. So Woodward is most encouraged to come on down front and enjoy, enjoy his finish with Davis. Now we'll move these cars out as quickly as we can and those competitors who wish to are entered in the demo derby, which will cap off the program. That's right. Right. You no possum playing will be allowed. That's right. You're penalized if you're caught doing that. And there.